Do you think it's going to go well with the Jews in the United States or anywhere else in the world? When they're trying to pass even Sharia law in the United States? I mean, come on, wake up! You know, people need to wake up what's going on. My brothers in Israel, you need to wake up. Good evening, my friends. My name is Stephen Bendenun with Israel Live with your evening news moment here. And uh, I mentioned to you earlier when we did a, a, a live news broadcast earlier in the day about an article that I wanted to bring to your attention that actually has a prophetic impact, uh, at least seemingly from what's written in the article here. This is reported on Arut Shiva, which is Israel's national news. Um, and it says here, the title of the article is, There is no Temple Mount, only Alaska Mosque. Uh, this was uh, reported here, oh gosh, let's see, the date was actually, well, it's actually today is February 26, 2014 at 3.38 p.m. local time Israel. Uh, the article reads here, following on the historic Knesset debate over Jewish prayer rights and Israeli sovereignty on the Temple Mount. Uh, the holiest site in Judaism, the Interior Committee chaired by M.K. Marian Regev, Lekud Betanu, um, discussed Jewish entry to the site on Wednesday morning. The discussion was punctuated by provocative statements by Arab M.K.'s foremost among them, Talib Abu Arar Ra'am Ta'al, who claimed the Jews have no reason to visit the 3,000-year-old site of their first, second, and second temple. In a fine example of historic uh, revisionism, Jewish Jews have nothing to look for, is what he's quoted here as saying, Jews have nothing to look for at the Alas Mosque, spouted Arar. It isn't the Temple Mount, it isn't Al -As, it is Al Alas Mosque. The Al Alas Mosque belongs to the Muslims and not to the Jews, and it is an occupied land. A key point of discussion was police management uh, of the site. As, as occurred Tuesday morning leading up to the debate, when Muslims riot and throw rocks and firecrackers, Israeli police tend to respond by forbidding Jews access to the Temple Mount according to the law which ins ensures freedom of worship. Jews have the right to visit the site. Police Commander Avi uh, uh, Bitten said in, a, in an interior committee that the police are allowed by the law to consider the inter in interest of public safety and close the Temple Mount accordingly which is really an abomination to close the Temple Mount in the first place. They have no business closing the Temple Mount. Uh, Regev's criticism was shared by Yehuti's uh, Desberg of the group uh, Women for the Temple who charged the police of trying to keep uh, the, the quiet by not enforcing the law when confronted with violent Arab crowds on the site, instead forbidding Jews from fulfilling their rights by visiting. Well, they should actually ban the Arabs from being on the Temple Mount is what should take place. Uh, anyway, as, as the article went on, when we get into the conclusion of the meeting a little further down in here, uh, this is what got interesting to me. It says, at the conclusion of the meeting, Regev requested that the police and inter internal security ministers ensure Jews be able to visit the site every day for three and a half hours according to the government's policy. Regev suggested uh, additional security forces be brought in to aid the police in ensuing uh, uh, Jewish uh, prayer rights. And uh, let's see, additionally, Regev said she would uh, appoint a second committee headed by M.K. David uh, Tsur, uh, Hatana, to investigate the police activities on the Temple Mount. Police have previously caused outrage by their rough treatment and arrest of Jewish visitors for such crimes as uh, possessing an Israeli flag. I know what that's like. Uh, I didn't get arrested on the Temple Mount, but uh, when I was going on the Temple Mount, uh, I guess back in around 2005, uh, I had a pr uh, prayer shawl with me, and uh, I immediately was stopped and told I couldn't take this on the Temple Mount. Uh, but I didn't know about the band at the time myself, uh, so it was innocently. I wasn't trying to do it to be, to be evil, uh, which would be evil in the first place, so I shouldn't say it like that. Uh, but here's what was fascinating to me. When we look at the article here, and it talks about that they're given three and a half hours a day for praying. 
do you realize the symbolicness, the, the effects of the political landscape that this has? Or excuse me, the prophetic landscape, not political, but the prophetic landscape. It's basically speaking of the first half of Daniel's 70th week. It's exactly when the covenant is signed for three and a half years, Israel will once again get that right to go on the Temple Mount. The building of the third temple, but the covenant will be broken in the midst of the week. Very interesting. So it's a thought that I wanted to share with you. Uh, and also I'd like to just bring one other uh, news article to your attention. Um, and that is um, uh, we had today uh, the... Uh, there is a, a, a Palestinian report that Abbas is angry at Kiri and threatened to end the talks. Uh, this is kind of breaking news that just came out of there. Um, Muhammad Abbas became very angry during a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry last week and threatened to end the negotiations with Israel. Uh, this was reported on Wednesday. Um, and according to the report, Abbas turn, uh, excuse me, fumed, went during a meeting with Kerry in Paris, the top U.S. diplomat presented a new offer which, according to a senior PA official, adopted the Israeli positions for a peace agreement. These officials told the uh, Al-Quds that Kerry presented Abbas with a paper which states that the PA would be required to recognize Israel as a Jewish state, except the Palestinian state that does not include the Jordan Valley, and agree to annex 10 Israeli communities in Judea and Samaria as part of the Palestinian state. Uh, anyway, so he did not like this, needless to say. Uh, personally, I think that he should pack his bags and move to Jordan. I hate to tell you the way it is, but that's the way it should be. Anyway, God bless you, and Erev Tov.